Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be the next edition of Goal. We hope this is on Taylor Gautier, obviously getting signed with the Penguins in the month of March, months ago now, but he's going to get a chance with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins going into next season, one would think, which is going to be huge for the Winterhawks standout. Obviously, one of the better, at least in my opinion, unis up there um, in the WHL um, when it comes to the Winterhawks. And obviously, his former team, the Cougars, also don't wear wear pretty solid um, unis as well. But he was very good with the Cougars up there in the WHL and then was a Winterhawks standout in his final season in the WHL with the Winterhawks after getting traded from Prince George to the Winterhawks in season. He wasn't just a regular season standout doing a ballistic 24-4 and record, but also, and that was for the Winterhawks, he was 7-5 and for Prince George and very good there as well. He was a stud in the postseason going 6-0, and 9-5-9. And I mean, talk about stepping up for one of the be for the best team uh, in, in the WHL uh, in the Winterhawks and tenfold. I mean, this man Gautier, uh, he's a very good undrafted netminder. Again, uh, he actually is a six-two kid, so he doesn't fill out the net like some got people want more of the six-four and up guys that are the fill out the net kind of style nowadays. But when you're able to just be as sharp as attack as Taylor Gautier is and continue to improve year on year, whether it was a bad performance in like the World Juniors, for example, in the Canada under 18s where he where he was good record wise, but overall probably didn't do as good as he would have hoped because of I've watched a couple different interviews with him and it seems like he has very high expectations for himself, which I think is spectacular for a goaltender because that seems to be what makes him the best as long as you have realistic high expectations for yourself, obviously. And I think that's what helped him get better in 1920. So improvement in 2021. And then show the biggest leap because he was already great in the WHL and a standout there each year. But he showed leaps and bounds to being a stud rather than just a standout in his final season in the WHL. And going to the Winterhawks, nothing against the Cougars. They're a good team as well. But I think going to the Winterhawks because the Cougars aren't like anything to the what the Winterhawks were able to do and get him to get playoff games that he hasn't seen since his days in the AMHL um, is huge for a guy like Taylor Gautier. So I think Taylor Gautier has a chance to be one of those guys you let develop, wait till he's 25, 26. They have guys, obviously, like the Oreo, like Napier, and others um, in the Penguins organization that I don't think they have to rush this kid but I think it was a very good idea by the Pittsburgh Penguins to sign Taylor Gautier because they just, like I said uh, with the video of when the Sharks were able to bring in Strassmann that I just put out before this one, if you want to go and check that out. You can never have enough good goaltending. And DiOrio looks more like a third stringer, um, which is nothing bad against that. He could be an, a very good third stringer, but a guy that maybe has the backup potential. And then you have, obviously, um, now also you have Taylor Gauthier to add in there with Philip Lindbergh, who looks like he might have the best chance to develop into kind of the 1B style there. And then I would give Gauthier, once he is kind of up probably in a couple seasons, I would give him till he's, well, he's, I wouldn't say maybe, I would give him till he's like 23, 24 to be able to fully be ready, unless if he really just wows uh, the, the, the minors and blows your socks off. And also, of course, the last to mention, Joel Bloomquist is there as well, who probably has the biggest potential, but I would say is a couple years away at least, um, to be able to be in the NHL at just 20 years of age. So the goaltending realm is building there in Pittsburgh. And Ron Hextall, that's the thing I would say he did the best on here in Philadelphia. So um, good for him to be able to continue to build up goaltending there in Pittsburgh as Taylor Gauthier is now a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins minor league goaltending crop, as I would think he would get a good chance with Wilkes-Barre Scranton. But I would think it would potentially even be he and Lindbergh next season uh, getting a, ch a chance there big time with them as they try to build those two guys forward. They still have DiOrio, obviously, as well as uh, Tommy Napier. But I don't think they have... Like, Diorio and Napier, I would say Diorio has the better chance 
to be a guy that develops into an NHL or and then Napier I feel like more is just one of those really good AHL goaltenders that might then eventually get a chance but this has been a video on the Pittsburgh Penguins getting Taylor Gauthier months ago but this is more of a video just to address how good of a goaltender I think Gauthier has the ability to be just because he's undrafted it's kind of he doesn't fall in the quota of the 6-4 above that I think is stressed too much nowadays because if you have the athleticism and the mobility of the Strassmans of the Jonathan Quicks that we've seen be a great goalie's whole career the UC Soros's um and also the Gauthier's I think it's kind of dumb to get overlooked just because you don't meet this the, the necessarily 6-4 and up criteria because I do think the Pittsburgh Penguins might have got a steal in Gauthier, but we'll have to see going forward. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.